Hello Road Warriors, it's Alex here for Notebook Check Reviews. Tablets have become a mainstay in many homes due to their portable form factor and ease of use. I guess most of us use a tablet for media consumption, social media or mobile gaming, as most aren't really designed with productivity and work in mind. However, there are a few companies that have successfully blended the portability of a tablet with the features and power of a Windows laptop. We look at two of the best Windows tablets on the market today, the Microsoft Surface Pro 9 and the Dell XPS 13 2-in-1. The Surface Pro line needs no introduction. For over 10 years now, Microsoft's offerings basically defined what a Windows tablet should be. The Surface Pro 9 continues the lineage into 2023, refining the tablet while keeping many aspects that have made the Surface Pro so popular, including the latest Intel CPUs, a high quality screen and outstanding build quality. In the other corner sits the Dell XPS 13 2-in-1. Dell's XPS line is the pinnacle of the company's design ethos, highlighted by exquisite materials, high-end specs and killer aesthetics. This one is a return of sorts to a hybrid tablet design for the XPS line, as it is the first detachable tablet under the brand in almost a decade. How does it stack up to the Surface Pro? Well, we shall see. As always, let's check out what these two are made of. The Microsoft Surface Pro 9 looks almost identical to the Surface Pro 8, which looked similar to the Surface Pro 7, which looked like the Surface Pro 6. And I think you get the idea. The Surface Pro's design language has not changed much over the years, but that's a good thing. The Surface Pro 9 retains the sturdy aluminium chassis as well as the solid kickstand that can be adjusted to almost any angle. We have no complaints with regard to build quality. It's thin and it's easy to carry. The XPS 2-in-1 takes a lot of design cues from the Surface Pro. It has a similar aluminium shell with equally high build quality, although the XPS doesn't seem as tightly sealed as the Surface Pro. The differences in size and weight are minimal, so the XPS is equally easily lockable. The biggest downside to the XPS is its cover, which acts as the device's kickstand as well. Where the Surface Pro can stand on its own and can be adjusted in its angle seamlessly, the XPS needs its cover to remain upright and you only get three adjustable levels. This is quite a shame, since more often than not, I would use a device like this to watch a show or movie without its keyboard attached. Let's say in the kitchen while prepping a meal or on a train or a plane with only minimal space available. Regarding port selection, the Surface Pro 9 wins, but only by a margin. Both tablet PCs have two USB 4 Type-C ports that support Thunderbolt 4 and DisplayPort 1.4. But that's all the XPS gets. Dell's convertible requires one for those ports for power, which severely limits usability. The Surface Pro 9, on the other hand, has the aforementioned Thunderbolt 4 ports and a dedicated power input via the Surface Connect port. Sadly, neither device has a 3.5mm headphone jack or a card reader, which we sorely miss. In terms of wireless connections, both devices support Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.2, and both offer reliable connections via these standards. Since these two are primarily communication devices that you will use to keep in touch with your colleagues or loved ones, camera quality might also be a deciding factor for you. The Dell takes the cake here, even though the Surface Pro 9 can also hold its own against the plethora of really bad laptop webcams out there. The Dell is just quite a bit wider and much more detailed. Both Microsoft and Dell sell keyboard covers for their respective tablet PCs, and both are alright. Remember folks, we are dealing with detachable keyboard covers with integrated keyboards here, so the typing experience is far from perfect. That said, the Dell XPS 13's 2-in-1's keyboard is the closest we've come to feeling like a traditional laptop keyboard. Key travel is still shallow at 1mm, but there is a clear pressure point and good feedback. The Surface Pro 9's keyboard feels muddier in comparison, although it is still definitely usable for long typing sessions. An active stylus can be purchased for either device from the manufacturer, for an extra cost of course. Dell's gets the job done, but Microsoft's Slim Pen 2 scores an easy win here. It is responsive and offers haptic feedback. It can also store away in the top of the keyboard deck for charging. But I must admit, its slim design does make it a bit uncomfortable to use. 
Both devices sport bright 3x2 displays. Both screens are IPS panels that get fairly bright between 450 and 500 nits. Both almost fully cover the sRGB color gamut and both have high contrast ratios over 1000 to 1. However, the Surface Pro has one key advantage, a high refresh rate. While the screen of the Dell is limited to 60Hz, the Surface Pro 9's display can be set to 120Hz. You can't really go wrong with either display, but if you want smoother motion and a high refresh rate, the Surface Pro 9 should be your choice. Intel's 12th gen Arla Lake CPUs power both tablets. Our Surface had an Intel Core i7-1255U processor, giving it a noticeable advantage over the Core i5-1230U in the Dell. However, Dell does offer the XPS tablet with a Core i7-1250U. Because of the difference in CPUs, it's hard to make a fair comparison. What we can say is that both machines offer noticeable performance increases over laptops with last-gen Intel CPUs and represent some of the best performance in ultra-portable laptops on the market today. Everyday tasks are snappy and either machine chews through standard office work without losing its lunch. Both devices sport SIPI PCIe Gen 4 SSDs, making drive access times very quick. Graphics performance tells a similar story. The XPS 13 2 one has an Intel Iris XE Graphics i GPU with 80 execution units, while the Surface sports the 96 EU's variant. That higher execution unit count results in significantly better performance in graphics benchmarks. In either case, both devices are fine for light photo editing, 4K video playback and some very, very light gaming. These are not graphical powerhouses, but older titles are perfectly playable at 1080p with low to medium settings. If you're in the market for a tablet PC with higher graphics performance, look to the Asus ROG Flow Z13 that we reviewed a while back. Dell wins the cup regarding system noise. The XPS 13 is fanless and still keeps its cool. Most of the chassis stays under 40 degrees Celsius, even under load. The Surface Pro 9, in contrast, has a fan that creates a moderate amount of noise. And unfortunately, the chassis still gets warmer, even with the fan dumping the heat. The chassis of the device hits between 42 to 45 degrees Celsius under load. Regarding noise you would actually want to hear, the Surface is the clear winner when it comes to speaker quality. Its soundstage is just wider in general and even offers a little bit of bass. Battery life is another victory for the XPS. That smooth 120Hz display the Surface Pro 9 boasted about earlier bites it in the rear here. When unplugged, the Pro 9 lasts about 7.5 hours. Throwing the tablet's display up to 120Hz takes a toll on battery life. The tablet barely manages 6 hours in this mode. In contrast, the XPS managed an impressive 9 hours in our Wi-Fi battery test, which should give you plenty of time to get through a workday before you need a recharge. So in the end, Dell might have made the right decision here to opt for the weaker CPU and the 60Hz display in the end. So which device is the best option for those that crave the portability of a tablet with the versatility and power of Windows? There's a lot to digest here. Both the Surface Pro 9 and the Dell XPS 13 2-in-1 represent the best the Windows tablet world has to offer right now, and both outshine the other in some key areas. If you value a quiet machine, a great typing experience or a good value, the XPS handily takes the cake. Its fanless design and excellent keyboard cover both best the Surface Pro 9 and at roughly two-thirds the cost. However, if you want power and a smooth screen, the Surface Pro 9 should be at the top of your list. Its 120Hz panel, excellent build quality and great system performance easily outshine the Dell. So which is the best for you? I think it really comes down to how much you value a faster screen, a tiny bit more performance and a much more convenient kickstand, in contrast to the silent operation, longer battery life and value of course. If you'd like more details or want to check out the benchmarks for each device, be sure to head over to notebookcheck.com for our full reviews, which are linked in the description as well. Thanks a ton for watching our little comparison. If it was helpful, a like is always appreciated and be sure to subscribe so you do not miss our upcoming reviews. 
that would be it for today. My name is Alex, you have been fantastic and I cannot wait to see you all in the next one. Take care.